What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the red color playing as Scotty. He's, no, he's not playing. Ah, uh, oh, someone send help. Someone send help. He's playing as Zeus and his name's Scotty. Oh, and his opponent's magic and he's playing set and he's blue. The map's watering hole, and now everyone's laughing at me. Everyone's laughing at me. Feels bad. And, uh, yes. Scotty won the last game. Scotty won the last game, and, um, such is life. Okay, so we win one game, we win two games. Magic's won two games. Scotty's won one game. Or three games, one game. One, yeah, this is the fourth game. So, Magic's won a couple. Scotty's won a couple. No, Scotty's won one. House is coming up over here. Let's check out the map. Let's talk about a little bit about Zeus first set on Watering Hole. So, the strategies for set are fairly simple. You want to get three town centers. Get them fast. Because you're always going to have hunt. You've got all this hunt. You've got all this hunt. You've got all this hunt. Both these town centers are really, really good for set. And then you want to boot. You want to play for a really, really strong um, mythic edge push, generally speaking. Winning with Horus. Zeus, on the other hand. Zeus has got some incredible... Um, incredible town center breaking or boom breaking strategies here. If we roll our clock all the way back to a time that once was the Vubli Champions League, Challenges League actually, the Vubli Challenges League. And we remember a certain game against a certain Ra player with a certain Zeus player. Hagrid versus Mage. Impeccable game on Watering Hole. It was Ra not set as well. So a little bit different. But the build was a two town center Semi-fast and mythic, underworld, all in. And it was deadly. And a really, really strong option here for Zeus players against uh, against the Egyptians. So if you're finding yourself losing against a lot of Egyptians on this map, go check that game out. It's up on the tubes somewhere. I'll link it in the description uh, box on the YouTubes. And maybe someone in the Twitch chat can link it if they feel like it for you guys that are currently here. Um... Yes. Anyways, let's watch this game now. We'll see what these guys want to do. I expect to see magic rushing for the classical age here. And um, surprised to see this temple up so late, to be honest. Would have expected to see a four minute, a three minute temple with a four minute advance time getting this town center up without any issues. Advancing 415, 430, you are asking for like a Theseus to come and bother you and, and things like that. Rig. Well, we'll see. Okay, so magic just about to click up here after this villager. So 315, it's not that bad. It's not late. Oh, he's building another villager. He stopped the villager. He's dumping the food. He's advancing through the tar. And Scardi going to be going for what looks to be a, 44, a 445 here. Though 430 probably would be stronger. And he's not getting out his Theseus either. He might get it out. He's building another villager. No, he's not. We'll see if he gets Theseus. Looks like he's opting to not do so. He's going Athena. No problems here. Actually, this is an interesting idea as well. I, I, I would have preferred to see Hermes. But Athena is an interesting idea. Going for a two town center. All in on this town center here with a hoplites. Against like an early second town center from Magic. If Magic goes for this town center, then you go for the Underworld play. We'll see what he goes for if Scotty, if Magic can um, defend against. There's the monument. Magic not forgetting the monument now. Learning from his mistakes. Love it. That's what you love to see. And Ooh, he's moving forward. Going to chuck this town center up. Catascopus going to spot it. Scotty throwing up houses. Looks like he's going. Well, he may actually not be going for an immediate second town center here. He's got a lot of villages still on food. He's going to have 300 wood. Not quite enough gold. He's not thrown up... Well, he has just thrown up his second house. Gatoscopus is trying to harass. 
See the gazelle here going to get targeted, but we see a wadget coming in, a bunch of villagers moving down as well. And no military building. Ooh. These villagers are moving forward, so maybe forward military buildings here coming down? No, Odysseus. A little bit confused. He could just be grabbing this town center. Yeah, okay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it just because of how far away this food is. I mean, we checked down. Oh, I thought those were elephant there. I mean, never mind. Both of his town centers are rubbish. So it doesn't matter which one you get. But you are giving the set player a port of call for yourself to be attacking here. If you get this town center, it's close to this one. Means a couple of mercenaries can pop into the attack. Just sort of barracks down for magic. A little bit surprised about that. Honestly, I would have expected to see magic just go straight to the heroic age here. Try and spam out chariot archers. But not doing so. And we see the Jason coming in with the Minotaur. We've got some fairly safe hunt back here. Um, the well, barracks is here. I, I think you've got to be more concerned about an Odysseus sneaking around here. That you might want to throw up a barracks and a wall over this side instead of blocking this in. But... So what he's choosing to do, he does have the the, uh, the box setting up so he can shifting sounds the Odysseus anyways. Random villager coming over this way. He's looking to uh, uh, throw down some walls, but the Wadget is after her. Go get him, my lizard friend. See the Odysseus, oh, sorry, the Jason and the Minotaur checking around. They have found themselves a watchtower they can take down. A cheeky watchtower. Is he going to bother taking down? He will go for it. And there's the Odysseus here. I wouldn't be surprised to just see the shifting sands here. You just wanna you wanna get that one out of there and uh and, and stop him being a nuisance. In the spearmen, they don't they don't win. I don't know how many spearmen you need to take down an Odysseus, but it's more than two. This damage he does is huge. Nice micro Good. from magic to pull this one back, but now with the uh Minotaur coming in, when he picks off that, he's lost two spearmen already. Into the third spearman going to be going down. There's the shifting sands into this location here. The watchtower going to be able to take down some some of these units. As Scotty going to attempt to get out of here, or at least avoid the uh, the watchtower. It looks like it's in range. And he's probably going to be losing all three of those units there, as it stands. Though maybe he could have gotten out of here actually. Fairy coming in going to be able to pick off the Minotaur, slowing down the death of the wall. And the Odyssey is going to be slain afterwards. Nice play from Magic there. Going to be able to happily eat this hunt for a little bit. We check out Scarlet's perspective. He is throwing down two military academies here. It's a little bit interesting. Two military academies means an all-in on this town center will be possible. And because he's seen the double barracks here from... Um, for magic making spearmen it's a little bit peculiar to be going going for this because because axeman transition here is is going to be really easy but obviously this is hidden and magic's not going to know what's going to be coming and also this guy's actually really short on resources for the time being and he's missed a bunch of his herbivores as well so this could be a little bit difficult here he's throwing up an archery range as well fair enough Magic has almost got his armory up. Still happily eating his hunt over here. In a fine position. Looking for raids with the spearmen. There's nothing down this side. The only thing is these villages here. And he could sneak around the back here and get onto these villages. I mean, he's been, he's been alerted. Like, Scardi should know that the spearmen are here. And he's also running straight through the line of sight. Odysseus and Jason are back here. Hurt, moving in. Trying to pick off more villagers or more straggler units here. Looking very, very nice. Greek. See the priest getting picked off. As the villagers get pulled off this location here, looking for somewhere else to be. There is still all this hunt in the middle of the map here. And also here as well. So plenty of hunt for Skadi to be uh to be eating. The spearmen take down the granary. Scotty making a move forward here, looking for something to do. Villagers moving forward. So he's trying to take them down. Some axe are now getting built for magic. Looks like magic's a little bit scared about getting all in on this town center. Not going for the next eight. Just going to be making military from both of his barracks. Getting his third town center up. 
Going for a mad boom in the classical age, and they're gonna be racing in the mythic age here. Scardy, on the other hand, still not on the next age, but he is defending against these raids quite nicely. Hyena chilling in the back there. And it looks like the raids have been thwarted as the as the uh, Toxodes and the Hoplites are able to prevent that. Scardy seeing an 80 population, Magic at 87 population though, so Magic in a really good position here. Though there is still restoration and there is no uh, shifting sands, so a really strong all-in on this town center I may be able to pick it off without losing too much. As long as you get those Toxodes to come in and, and snipe some stuff. You see the uh, the medium archers coming out. Um, there's reasons why I don't like this, but, but the I much prefer to see medium infantry than medium toxo, just because the base stats are so much smaller, and because it works on percentage, you get less stats. But that's what he's going for. Toxodes retreating back. Gonna be trying to take down the uh, the spearmen here. Do a nice job there. See the Odysseus trying to snipe the. Uh, the Wadget, as he finally hits an arrow on him. The Wadget slithers away as Scardi is pushing in here. And it's looking like Magic is not feeling comfortable fighting this. Restoration is incoming here. There it goes, keeping all of it, Mag all of Scardi's units alive here as he's able to push through. But he is deciding that he can't win this fight. That's, a, that's unfortunate. I thought that potentially staying there, he probably would have won that pretty hard, but deciding to retreat, he loses every single advantage he had there from that restoration as Magic is able to push him back, and then Magic's moving back in here. I'm oh, sorry, Scotty's moving back in here underneath the town center fire as if there was no reason, but it looks like the village is not in the fight anymore. May allow um, Scardi to win this fight pretty hard. The Slingers here get uh, don't do next to no damage against the uh, Hoplite as they are basically only getting picked off by the Town Center, only dealing 3.6 damage here. It's looking like Scardi, his attack did some damage, but it looks like not that much to be honest. Low just Slingers are getting built now by Magic. As Magic looks like he wants to get to the next age, just happily building Slingers instead of anything else. Still a lot of these Hoplites alive. Look like they're trying to bash through this location. The Slinger's going to come over here and going to be able to snipe some Toxodes. Nice micro from Magic in order to not overkill there. It picks off two Toxodes instead of one there. Now the village is getting pushed off this gold, off this food here as well. And there's still Slingers here able to, to help out, but they're not being micro at this point. The Hoplites take down this watchtower, and these Slingers are getting picked off as Scardi is coming back in, but Scardi's still only sitting on two town centers to Magic's three town centers, and Magic's economy is still going to be really, really strong here. Even though he's spamming just Slingers and his army can't trade that well, it doesn't matter because his economy is going to be so big. But he does need to think about how is he going to get to the next age so that he can get to the market. And start trading if he needs to. Start farming. And all those uh, important things to start happening. We are seeing Scardi has realized this is a weak point here for Magic. Taking down the temple, taking down the houses. Really hurting uh, Magic's production here. As now Magic is sitting at 125 or 133, 125 population. We are seeing the Hoplite spots these villages here. Wouldn't be a bad idea to just move like five Hoplite this way. And we'll rest up this top side here in order to pick off these uh, these villagers mining this gold mine. But it's looking like Scardi is just going to go around here and Magic's just going to retreat. Not going to get anything from that. We do see the villagers over here getting raided by the Slingers. Surprisingly losing some Slingers to this raid here. Sorry, some villagers to this raid here. And the villagers should just turn around and fight this. But now we're seeing that Magic is actually gold starved at this point in the game. I just got no access to gold here. Still got a little bit of gold these villagers are carrying, but that's it. He does have a gold mine over here, which Scardi doesn't have any clue about. He tried to pull the wall over here, but no units over there just yet. And this could be very difficult for Magic to uh, to continue in. The big problem for Scardi right now is he's actually run out of food. He does have Gazelle over here, and he's got Gazelle over here, so he actually hasn't run out of food. He's got, oh, no, I tell a lie. He's got Hippopotamus as well. So totally fine. Now the village is returning over here. 
<laughs> Scotty getting um getting given the old Rocket scoot ship. and uh and boot here. Should have uh should have had a should have had more of an eye on that location there. And the pure slingers from Magic gonna maybe be enough to allow him to get to the next age here. We're seeing Nephthys come through. Getting that gold mine was absolutely key here. Now Magic can throw up a Migdol stronghold on this location when he gets the resources. And he's gonna be able to uh to hold on here forever. And and in fact, once this Migdol's up, this push here, this Athena from from Scardi is going to be really difficult. We're seeing the third town center now coming up for Scardi. He's got... Ooh, his economy is a mess. Absolute travesty with 15 villages on gold here. 1,000 gold in the bank. Now seeing a very greedy villagers over here gathering from this hunt. And Scardi going to be attempting to defend against it, making sure he doesn't get pushed off it. He realizes how important it is. He needs it. Now seeing the Scorpion men coming over this side. They're going to be noticing there's a full army here already. As the giraffe gets sniped here. And the slingers. Mass slingers in the back. Just look at that. They're not bad when they're on this massing here. Once the hoplite get on them though, they do lose. Whose hoplite can get on them? See that the uh, Odysseus has been sniped though. Now the scorpion are going to probably change the tides of this battle here. He does so much damage. It's looking like Scardi is able to uh, sort of win this fight here. Into you. Now we're seeing more raids Gary. coming in, pushing pushing off these villages that are on this Ford gold mine. And I don't know what Skyly is really trying to do here, but Magic looks like he's going for an early mythic age. Which is what I was sort of talking about. This is sort of the idea behind behind set on this map. You get this early mythic age, and this isn't an early mythic age comparatively. But in this game, it's an early mythic age because we've still got classical age Zeus here from Skadi. So a tornado here is going to be completely fine. If Skadi, though, if Skadi can get heroic age before mythic age comes, sacrifices the town center here and gets an immediate mythic age himself, Fortress Heliopolis, he may be able to push back into this location here. That is sort of the only way but it's looking like he's still pumping military here so he's not trying to get heroic age not trying to get mythic age so this this uh ancestors and then a tornado is going to be way too much and also he doesn't have any farms just yet so running out of food very very fast uh scardy is so even that idea there was probably not possible because of the food situation he was in Now the minions push Scardi back. Horus is just about hit here. 75%. Into you. Siege Tower coming in. Villagers do meet this lone Siege Tower, but it doesn't matter at this point. Jared Archers able to pick off pretty much everything, getting a little bit of chip damage done before the Siege Tower goes down. And then a very brutal tornado to come here for magic. And Scardi... Still not clicking up, still with next to no resources. 100 favor in the bank, don't know what he's saving up for. There's the tornado right on top of this army doing so much damage to them. Leaving them all with next to no HP. The buildings getting picked off. The town center falling and Scardi taps out. GG, well played by Magic. Demonstrating the set strengths here on this map, but Scardi just not having a plan in sight here. He had the gold staff. He had this game in the palm of his hand. He had villagers over here on this gold. He could have sent over here to wall this gold mine off. And he could have just sat here preventing the heroic age, winning the game on the spot. But he just didn't do it. And it's magic got away with it, taking the win. Well played. If you enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.